Dearly beloved, I'm an Enneagram Type 1, and we gather today to mourn the loss of this kind soul, who also happened to be my wife. And although I do feel like sobbing my eyeballs out, it's in times like these that I always desperately turn to the words of Ecclesiastes. <clears throat> Meaningless. Meaningless. Hey, who are you talking to? Oh, I, I'm just doing this for myself. Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. If I could just have one minute of your time, I'd like to give you a little update on my life. I'm married now. Um, this is my significant other. Emphasis on significant. And we also have two young ones that we're very proud of, Brandon and Katie. Brandon's band is really starting to take off now, and Katie is finding a meaningful groove in the hard sciences. So, knowing that your legacy is resting in good, dare I say great hands, you both have my permission to rest in peace. Um, on an unrelated note, um, while I'm here, um, would you say that you ever truly loved me? How are you doing? How am I doing? Well, I've been imagining this every day since I was five, so you know what? I actually feel pretty prepared right now. Pre-grieving is what I call it. It's where you grieve, but pre. You need anything? Because these next few days are going to be rough. Death sucks. That's why you pre-grieve. Okay, from an interesting, objective point of view, it's kind of like nobody died at all. Because if individuality is an illusion, if you're not a different person, and you're not a different person, and I'm not a different person, but we are all connected, like umbilical cord to umbilical cord to umbilical cord, then it's like nobody died at all. It's an illusion. It's like the leaves. Look at these. These fall away. These die, but the tree, the tree lives on one organism. We are one freaking organism. Well, solve that. Well, this is my worst nightmare, so I'm just going to snap into autopilot mode if that's all right with y'all. Um, my first concern is the, we went with the granite obelisk? Um, do we know how that does in the climate here? Uh, yeah, cause it's okay. If this is what we want to go with, that's fine. But, uh, it means we do need to think about rain, uh, snow, um, hail, uh, grave robbers. You don't know how this granite market's going to be doing. And deer. And, oh, oh yeah. The fact that it kind of looks like a... I literally have no idea. I literally have no idea. Summer has come. First off, you all do not know how to grieve. I'm actually working on a handbook about how the Lord wants us to grieve, but in a way that's timely and thorough. Timely and thorough. Here, get yourself a copy. Timely and thorough. Raise your hands if you think right now you are grieving in a way that is timely and thorough. Show of hands. That's what I thought. I know it feels like you're leaving me now, but if we're honest, 
you kind of left me a long time ago. Excuse me, are you all right? What? Oh, yep, sorry. Just could never actually do this in real life, so. Um. Sorry, sorry, thank you. Thank you for your time, thank you. Hey guys, this is Christopher with Rock Bridge Island. This was a really fun one to make, but also kind of bleak. <laughs> As a type five, I don't really like thinking about the specifics of death at all, ever. So this required some courage, but I'd also encourage you if you're in a somewhat safe and stable place to take a look at your own Enneagram types reaction to death. I put some notes in the description to this video that kind of explain my thinking behind each of the jokes for these nine types. A lot of it's stereotypes, but uh, there's a little grain of truth in all of them, the coping mechanisms that they represent. Check them out. So I've got some lighthearted stuff on this channel. There's also some deeper dives depending on what your preference is. Um, and I think you'll like checking them out. But if you can subscribe to this channel, that'll help get these videos out to more wandering eyeballs. That's a very five way to um, call random people on the internet. They're not people, they're just eyeballs. Anyway, thanks for stopping by.